Hey guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. All right, y'all. This is story time. Story time, story time that, uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm particularly proud of this story, but uh, I'm sure everybody has got a story that they ain't particularly proud of. Raise your hand here if you ain't never had something that you are not proud of. I know damn well none of y'all don't raise your hands. <laughs> All of y'all better have raised your hands is what I'm saying. Um, this is a particular time. I've never been so embarrassed um, in my life. Whereas, um, I didn't know. I'm pretty naive. And a lot of people say that about, you know, my trust, my awareness and my trustiness in people. I'm, you know, I'm pretty laid back type of person. Okay. And, um, let alone did I think that if I was in a supposedly monogamous relationship with somebody that I would have one of my friends call me and say, hey, I didn't know that you were um, down for, <laughs> this is so crazy. I didn't know that you were down for open relationships. And I'm like, what? Said, so I didn't know that you were down for open relationships. Um, I just seen your friend's Facebook page. And it said that they was in an open relationship. And I knew y'all were seeing each other. And because I'm not the kind of person that goes to, I figured, you know, your friends are your friends. My friends are my friends. And I'm not really into uh, policing you, going through your phone, going through your Facebook, because actually it's some parts of my life that I would just rather not have you involved in. And I mean that not in a disrespectful way, but I want to have some autonomy. You know, I want to have some friends that are just my friends, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that's wrong. Uh, I mean, our because most of our friends have become our friends. So if you have one or two friends that, I mean, that may just be an acquaintance with your uh, baby, then that's okay. And that's what I mean. I don't mean like they're totally kept separate or anything like that. I just mean that I don't feel the need to be all in their face. So I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. If I'm dating somebody and they have their group of friends, I don't, um, you know, just intrude like that. I know my place. I know where I'm supposed to stand in a relationship. And if trust is involved, then, you know, it shouldn't have all those crazy nuances, right? Well, I found myself involved in a relationship that was open. And I had no idea. But that's what happens in, when you deal with people who have personality disorders and narcissistic and stuff like that. You'll be involved with them and on a real um, monogamous level. And what they'll be doing is setting up little people along the side uh, waiting for you to mess up. So I can go to this person or that person or again, be involved in an open relationship. And then the person that's involved has no clue that that's what they're involved in. So it becomes an embarrassment, right? You figure out you're in an open relationship. And then the worst thing you do is when you confront a person with uh, personality disorders like that, then of course... It becomes a whole big blowout, split, um, dynamic, and you understand that the worst thing you could have did was confronted the narcissist about anything that made sense. 
because they're not wired that way. Any if they got personality disorder is really really bad. They're not wired that way. They can't come down um, from you've been confronted. It's a called a narcissistic injury. So once you've injured them to a point where they think that you've done something, it's almost as if it becomes almost like a lifetime movie. You know, where they look, they got that stare where they're looking at you like, oh, I'm going, I'm going to mess you up. And it's, and you could be innocent and it could be because you, uh, chose to confront something and, or ask them a question. Ah, uh, did they actually take your, uh, purse or did you leave your purse in there and see little things like that? You're not supposed to question them because if you do, they get very upset. So, <laughs> being in an open relationship and not knowing that you're in an open relationship is a very vulnerable, very hurtful, and an insane place to be in. So, if any of you are in a, a situation like that where somebody has chosen for you to be in an open relationship and you didn't agree to that, yeah. I think you already know the answer to that. Click on the video right there. <laughs> See us explore this dynamic a little further. Or, hell, click on that one. This one over here. That, that is just as much, okay? So, um, <laughs> there's all kinds of levels to the madness. Trust me. And I've been involved with all of it. I'll see you in the next video.